The film starts with the introduction of a kid, and the city named Sparta is shown. There, they verify whether the kid is okay or on the other hand in the event that he has any imperfections. The defaulted kids were finished there presently, a youngster was conceived and his preparation begins when he becomes seven years of age and he was sent a long way from his city. The residents of Sparta were shown how to forfeit themselves for other people also, the youngster was beaten seriously during that preparation. After his preparation, he was shipped off a horrible Timberland for test. Presently he faces a brutal wolf at that cool evening yet he closes that wolf also, when he returns subsequent to finishing it, he was made the Sparta's ruler for his boldness. The ruler was named Leonidas and the time elapses progressively. At some point, a fighter shows up to Leonidas, whose ruler has a gigantic armed force for a conflict also, their ruler views himself as God. Leonidas says explain to me why you come here. According to the warrior, land and water, and our ruler believes that you should comply with us, however, Leonidas says you came from far away. The fighter additionally brought a few cut tops of the lords and their crowns to make, Leonidas terrified while showing them. The fighter affronts him and Leonidas becomes incensed on it. He closes the fighter alongside his colleagues as he probably is aware in the event that their ruler will find this he will go after us with his gigantic armed force. He will end our mates yet, Leonidas doesn't have a colossal multitude of troopers to battle and still, at the end of the day he needs to battle yet he can't take this choice himself. Indeed, even he was the ruler of Sparta, yet there was a custom that he needs to go prophets to battle in war. The prophets were the young ladies who passed the gods' message on to individuals yet, there were a few ministers who got and kept those young ladies. Leonidas arrives at the ministers and lets them know everything what's more, says on the off chance that we won't battle in the conflict the ruler sees himself as God will go after us with his military and will end us. He will make individuals of Sparta, his slaves furthermore, the clerics say subsequent to hearing him, OK let us know what you have brought as a present for us. Leonidas provides them with a great deal of gold yet the clerics let him know that he can't battle with them at the present time since it is August and Sparta can't battle in this month. Leonidas becomes rankled and says we as a whole will be finished on the off chance that we won't battle in the conflict then the cleric gives him a message from prophet young lady that was from the god. He tells all that will be destroyed if Sparta will battle in this conflict, Leonidas becomes discouraged subsequent to hearing this and afterward leaves. In the meantime, the colleagues of the ruler views himself as God show up to those clerics when he left also, he was Leonidas' adversary. All that the clerics told the Spartans above all else, Leonidas, were phony since they likewise need this and the Lord has guaranteed them to offer a great deal of gold and beautiful young ladies as a trade-off. The young ladies who will pass God's message on to them. The underhanded ministers additionally need Sparta to annihilate Leonidas was concerned when he returned and his sovereign asks what occur for what valid reason our ruler is stressed. Then, at that point, he tells I would rather not lose what I love the most. The sovereign says subsequent to hearing this, don't think this since there is no liability on you of me and our child. Simply, think you are a free human and what a free human can do in this present circumstance. In the wake of hearing this from the sovereign, Leonidas calls his extraordinary 300 individuals the following day furthermore, they were the best troopers of Sparta, there were no warriors like them any place. Presently they conclude they will confront the ruler who sees himself as a divine being yet, they additionally realize he has million of perilous fighters yet that being said they were fearless and were not frightened of death. In the meantime, a couple of individuals show up when they were leaving from that point, they were from Sparta, they say when the prophets have explained to you why are you going for the conflict. You can't go and one of them was the friend of that ruler and he has purchased those clerics who misled Leonidas. This man likewise needs 
spotted to lose the conflict because of it, he will get the order after it. Leonidas says I'm not going on the conflict but rather on excursions and these 300 officers are for my security. Presently he pushes toward a mountain with his 300 warriors, where the multitude of the Lord will show up. A man is shown pursuing them when they were on their excursion, this man strolls while twisting what's more, his back was slouched over. Presently they were pushing ahead leisurely. They find a town on the way that was totally scorched, it was set ablaze and they become enraged subsequent to seeing it. In the meantime, a harm kid comes to Leonidas and tumbles down while approaching him. The kid tells a couple of individuals show up here who have paused and they have finished everybody here. The kid likewise bites the dust subsequent to telling this, hearing this, Leonidas, sidekick says those are hazardous Persian phantoms. They can't be halted, yet, Leonidas, says our sword will conclude regardless of whether they kick the bucket. They push ahead and find numerous Persian planes coming towards them yet, it begins pouring intensely and the tempest shows up abruptly. There was roaring too and the planes suffocated in view of this awful tempest that were coming to go after them. They become cheerful on it and celebrate it. A man was quiet there, that was, Leonidas, as he probably is aware the risk isn't finished at this point. They see from another mountain and there were countless planes who need to go after, Sparta. Where they were was perilous and they can save, Sparta, assuming they will overcome this military at this spot. The military can't battle with them together on these ways in the meantime, the man with the slouched over back comes to, Leonidas. The one who was pursuing them, he says, Lord, I likewise need to battle in the conflict with you I need to be a daring trooper as my dad was likewise a fighter yet my dad left, Sparta, when I was conceived. As there was the custom the children were finished who were defaulted hearing this, Leonidas requests that he lift his safeguard up as you can however he can't make it happen. He says I esteem your this energy my companion however you can't battle in the conflict since you are powerless. Subsequent to saying this, he leaves, making these man extremely upset. He tosses all that down being rankled. Then again, the Persian armed force was pushing ahead furthermore, these 300 individuals face them with dauntlessness and end them. They get a gigantic triumph and afterward the Lord shows up who sees himself as God. Leonidas says as much, you are the person who see himself as God and the Lord says your officers are valiant however, you can't remain against me and Leonidas says you have a greater number of slaves than valiant fighters. The Lord says I may, caring God so twist before me and the world will twist before you. Hearing him, he says no likelihood to twist before you and since I finished you individuals my knees become firm. The Lord becomes irate and subsequent to passing on from that point he sends his perilous warriors to them to battle. The warriors were not people, presently those 300 individuals face those troopers. They see another expectation in the wake of finishing them, a desire to win. The Lord again sends his hazardous armed force and not many creatures. The sidekicks of Leonidas additionally end them, presently after crushed ordinarily the ruler likewise become frightened. The ruler who sees himself as God becomes frantic that he begins finishing his own officers. At some point, the man with the slouched over back comes to the ruler furthermore, the ruler says how heartless your God is who has made you like this. Submit to me, I will give you all that you need, simply let me know the way from where we can encompass, Leonidas, and his buddies. The way from where we can got them and the man says I will let you know all that and tells everything to that ruler. Then again, the sovereign was endeavoring to send armed force backing to her ruler, Leonidas, here and there. None was prepared to submit to her and the one who was with the Lord the Sovereign calls him and says I really want your vote. I will give you what you need assuming you will do this really, the man needs the Sovereign. The following morning, the man gets some distance from his discussion when there was the go to cast a ballot what's more, 
He puts charge on the sovereign because of it. The sovereign ends up being angry at him. She closes him with a blade and they track down hardly any gold coins from that man. There was the image of the ruler on the coins who see himself as god presently everybody comprehend that he was with that lord who views himself as god and was everybody's foe. They all call him a double crosser and presently the reality of the sovereign was likewise demonstrated. The man with slouched over back shows the lord the way through which they can catch Leonidas and his buddies. In the meantime, a man comes to Leonidas and requests that he run from here since we are encircled from all sides. He says in the wake of hearing this, we won't run as we are not quitter and we will confront them. Leonidas calls his sidekick and requests that he return and let everybody know what has occurred here. Enlighten everybody concerning our triumph and afterward gives him a memento. He requests that he give it to the sovereign and the following morning the ruler encompasses them with his military one of his fighters says submit to our lord and curb before him the man shows up with the slouched over back he asks leonidas to acknowledge what the lord is talking about and save your kin leonidas recalls the night when he has confronted and finished that brutal wolf he tosses his safeguard twists down and afterward calls one of his friend appropriately presently being energetic his sidekick closes that fight a while moving potential gain him he was saying to submit to their ruler and the lord requests to end everybody there was the downpour of bolts from all sides on them and leonidas additionally tosses his weapon at him his cheek begins draining yet and still at the end of the day leonidas and his sidekicks didn't twist before him what's more they marted with the enthusiasm of their triumph the buddy whom leonidas has given his memento he gives it to the sovereign the sovereign likewise comprehends that her ruler leonidas is not any more in this world presently the man goes to individuals who were never prepared to help Leonidas he says our ruler didn't need triumph yet he simply didn't have any desire to twist before anybody he just wished to be recollected after it it is displayed in the last scene of the film the friend of Leonidas ruler who returned he was recounting this story to his 10000 officers that how their ruler confronted them with fortitude there was the multitude of the lord who viewed himself as god what's more The trooper says the military actually has the apprehension about our 300 individuals in their souls. Assault and end them. They push toward them since they need to get payback of their lord Leonidas. This is the finish of the film.